Now, 6 9 recently broke his silence. Wow, it's the Schmack House. 6 9 recently broke silence. Now, 6 9 says he will not be increasing his security or switch gyms. Wait, what? He's going to keep going to the same gym? So that's his gym? 6 9 goes to LA Fitness, bro. After he was visually assaulted while working out there earlier this week. On Thursday, March 21st, a Brooklyn rapper real named Daniel Hernandez was attacked by a group of men inside the sound at a LA Fitness in South Florida and was badly beaten before managing to escape. If you guys don't know that. And he's like not gonna be up in his security and he's not gonna be switching gyms. I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know if this is like what like I don't know if if this is being dumb or gangster. Like, I, I just don't even know, bro. Like, I is like, do you. How can I put this? Do you just risk your life like every day trying to prove, prove to somebody that you're gangster, right? Or do you just. Or can a gangster be smart and be like, yo, you know, these dudes caught me lacking at the gym. But I'm a rich motherfucker. I'm going to build a gym back at the crib. This way, nobody could catch me lacking. Bro, if I had the money that 6 9 creams he has, I would not be at no LA Fitness, bro. Like, I'm not downplaying LA Fitness and trying to tell you, like, LA Fitness is a horrible gym. But LA Fitney, Fitness is a gym where everybody goes to. Like, everybody in the hood, everybody in their mama, baby mama, house, mama, sama, sama, sama. And Sama Sama and Sama Sama go there, nigga. Like, I'm just keeping all the way funky with you. I got to keep it all the way real. Everybody go to LA Fitness, bro. I guarantee you, you know somebody to go to LA Fitness. You watching this video right now. You got a cousin, you got a brother, you got a sister. Uh, somebody go to LA Fitness, my nigga. Like, it is what it is, bro. I'm telling y'all the facts. And it's a cheap gym. Like, I think you can go there for like $30 a month, bro. Shit cheap. My nigga, if you going to go to a gym, at least go separate yourself from like everybody else, even though you will never be able to separate, separate yourself from everybody, unless you have your gym in your house where you're just alone. You know what I mean? Which that's what I think you should do. But let's say you can't do that or you don't want to do that because you're back and forth. Bro, just go to one of these high end gyms that pays like two, three hundred dollars a month. You're going to be in that motherfucker with lawyers, entrepreneurs. That make money. Not, not, not these little entrepreneurs that are saying that they're entrepreneurs and they make fucking $118 a year. You know, like $200 a year. Like They're broke. They're broke. I'm talking about real motherfuckers that got it. It's going to put you in a different room with a different crowd of people. You can't be going to LA Fitness where everybody goes, bro. $19.99, $29.99. 39 and 40, 50, 100 dollars. That's regular. You gotta go to that two, three hundred dollar tier. Them goons gonna think about it twice before they go, they're not paying two, three hundred dollars. And they're not gonna drive out their way, bro. It's another thing, bro. Six nine, bro, he needs to stop thinking that he doesn't need security. Bro, you're a celebrity. That consistently, like if you was a celebrity, that you was just one of those celebrities, right? That you don't actually talk so much shit. You're like one of those, let's say like a J. Cole, right? Where J. Cole, like, he talks his shit, but he's not consistently saying on podcasts and saying like, yo, you know, motherfuckers can't touch me. Like, and kind of like pushing people to like, bro, there's real gangsters out there that'll hear you say that. And they'll be like, bro, I got time, my nigga. I would really touch you if I spot you outside, my nigga. Like, let's keep it real. And if they spot you, they're going to do what they got to do, which kind of seems like what these dudes did. They was just like, yo, man, this 6 9 this that bitch ass. They were probably talking about this motherfucker, bro. They was probably literally chopping it up one day. But like, yo, if we ever catch that motherfucker. And that dude probably was working out that day. He's like, no way, bro. I got to call the homies, my nigga. He grabbed his phone. You saw how he was. Them niggas was excited as hell, bro. I showed y'all the video. Go watch the whole 6 9 thing. Them motherfuckers was excited. Homie was running in that motherfucker smiling like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my boy. That's my boy. That's my boy. Another one was like, yo, yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, they was excited, bro. It was like something that they had been talking about, bro. 
This was not like they was watching 6 9 They wanted to rob. Not this was none of that, bro. These dudes was literally talking about this before, bro. These motherfuckers, if they smoke, if they drink, whatever they do, my nigga, they was chopping it up. They was like, yo, when we catch that motherfucker, we gonna fuck his ass up. Look at this little motherfucker talking crazy. I'm telling you, bro. And, you know, they probably knew he was in Florida. They probably in Florida. They're like, yo, we gonna run into that motherfucker. And they're probably like, yo, yeah, whoever finds him better call us. You know what I'm saying? Homies pulled up real quick, bro. Real quick and gave my man 6 9 the beans. So, bro, literally 6 9 higher security if you're going to keep going to that gym. It's not smart, bro. These guys probably going to kill you next time. Because they're like, oh, he still wants to talk shit? I bet. We're going to hit him with the blicky this time. We're just going to wait for him outside. Like, bro, it's not worth it, bro. Your life is not worth it, bro. You're already top, like, uh, in the top 10% of, like, regular society, bro. Like, the fuck is you doing you know what i mean like most people don't make it to where you made it already bro like it is what it is man but it's just sad to see that six nine just doesn't give a fuck man just living life on on edge i could say man um but y'all let me know if this is if this is smart or gangster in the comments down below is it smart to move like this or is it gangster to move like that? i don't even know y'all let me know in the comments down below hit that bell so y'all stay notified when i drop these videos man wow oh, yeah. it's the smack house yes sir peace